Hi E5 and welcome back. Today we're going to be learning about litres and milliliters. So try this example here and see if you have to watch the rest of the video. If you get the answer correct, you can go straight on to Mathletics, litres of conversion. So this example here, the bath contains 45 litres of water. Convert this into milliliters. Pause the video now and see if you can work it out. So hopefully you pause the video and that you worked out that 45 litres equals 45,000 milliliters. If you got that correct, head on to Mathletics. If not, watch the rest of the video. So let's look at, um, let's look at this, milliliters and liters. They're a metric unit of volume, which is mostly used to measure liquids. So liters and milliliters measure liquids. So let's look at this a bit further. One liter is equivalent to 1,000 milliliters. So here we have one liter of orange juice, it looks like. So if you can see here, there's all these tiny little squares. 1,000 milliliters make up this one liter of orange juice. So remember that one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. So let's look at a few measuring devices that we can use for liters and milliliters. So here we've got uh, some sort of measuring jug with some units there. We've got a, a small measuring cup which, is, which has some increments for measurement there and uh, little plastic syringes which has units of measurement there for litres and milliliters. So let's look at these items. We've got six items here, all some sort of measurement of liquid, both milliliters or liters. Pause the video and try to work out which three belong in milliliters and which three would belong in liters. Great, I hope you pause the video and kept in mind that one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. So because of this, all the large items would go into liters. So a swimming pool, a bath, and the paint tin, they would all be measured in liters because milliliters would just be too small, too much, too small of measurement to measure. And the honey, the nail polish, and the water bottle would be all measured in milliliters. So let's look at an example. So converting milliliters to liters, you must divide by 1,000. So here we have 1,326 milliliters of paint in the tin which is here. Let's convert that into liters. So 1,326 and we want to go from milliliters to liters so we must divide by 1,000. So when we divide by 1,000 there is a little trick. We can shuffle the numbers back three spaces because we know that 1000 has three zeros. So if we shuffle the numbers back, we can go one, two, three, draw a little arrow there, where the number, where the decimal point goes there, 
which makes the answer 1.326 litres. So 1.326 litres. Let's try this example together. So the bottle of glue has 1,200 milliliters. How many liters? So you can also think that we know that 1,000 milliliters equals to one liter, and we've got 1,200 here. So it must be one point something because we know one litre is 1,000 millilitres and we have a thousand here in the thousand column, the one thousand. Or you can do the trick that I showed you before when we're dividing by a thousand, dividing by a thousand we can shuffle the numbers back and go three spaces, one, two, three. And then we know the decimal point must go there. So the answer would be one thousand the answer would be one point two zero zero liters. Another way that you can write that is just one point two liters. You don't necessarily need those zeros at the end here. So 1.2 litres of glue. Let's try this one. So we've got a bathtub that has 13,900 millilitres of water in the bath. Let's convert that to liters. I'm going to ask you to pause the video and try and work this one out by yourself. Great, I hope you paused the video and realized to go from milliliters to liters, you have to divide by 1000. So when you divide by 1000 and you've got 13,900. You can remember that one litre is equivalent to 1,000 millilitres. So in the thousands, we've got 13,000. Or you can do the trick one, two, three, and put the decimal point there which means the answer is 13.9 litres. If you had 13.900 litres, that's right too, but it just looks a little bit neater to just not have the zeros there and just put 13.9. Great, so let's work out this example. We've got 3,500 millilitres of milk in this bottle. Work out how many litres. Pause the video now and try to work that out. Great, I hope you work, I hope you paused out the video and worked it out. So 3,500 millilitres. In the thousands column we have three, so you, because you know that one litre is 1,000 millilitres, you should be able to automatically put the three there, and then follow the rest. We don't need to put the extra zeros in, so it's just 3.5 litres. So let's go the other way, converting from litres to millilitres. So before we were dividing, now we're going to multiply by a thousand to go from litres to millilitres. 
So let's look at this example. We've got 0 0.035 litres. And converting to millilitres, we need to times by 1,000. So when we're timesing by 1,000, we need to shuffle all the numbers forward. So let's move this. One, two, three spaces. So the decimal point will end up here, which means the new number is going to be 35 milliliters. Let's look at this one. So we've got water 0 0.532 liters of water. So we want to work out milliliters so we know we want to times by 1000. So we're going to move all of the numbers forward. So let's go one, two, three spaces. So the numbers are going to move forward and the answer is going to be 532 millilitres. Five hundred and thirty-two. Great, and try to work this one out by yourself. 1.3 litres of honey, convert it to millilitres. Pause the video now and work it out. I hope you pause the video because we're going to work this one out here. So 1.3 litres, we're timesing by 1000. So we're timesing by 1,000, we're moving the numbers forward. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3. So the answer is actually going to be 1,300. Those spaces there should have, you should put zeros in there. So 1,300 milliliters. Hopefully you got that answer correct, so you can mark that right. So that's the end of converting liters to milliliters. You can go on to Mathletics and um, try the assessment task on liter conversions.